Today's topic is called Jesus Exalted. Jesus Exalted. Our main text is from the book of John 3, 14. The Bible says, And as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Father, we thank you for your word. Use me as a vessel for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. The devil will come even when you are going through a difficult time to destroy you. For his agenda is to steal, kill, and destroy. If you read the book of John 10 and verse 10 a. <laughs> The Israelites were mourning the death of Aaron for 30 days. If you read Numbers 20, 29, it was at this time King Arab, Arad, uh, the Canaanite, which dwelt in the south, fought against Israel and took some of them prisoners. If you read Numbers 21, verses 1. Mm -hmm. The second thing you'll find that, but thank be to God that Jesus came that we may have life and that we may have it in abundance. If you read the book of John 10, 10, part B. <laughs> the Israelites made a vow unto the Lord to deliver them from the Canaanites and will destroy them and their cities. If you read Numbers uh, chapter 21, verses 3. You must destroy everything that will remind you of the world. Jesus paid the full price to redeem you from sin. The third thing you need to understand is that they journeyed from Mount Hor uh, by the way of Red Sea to the compass the land of Edom, causing the people to be discouraged. If you read the book of Numbers 21 verses 4. Are you discouraged by your work of salvation? Has it reached a time you feel bored? The enthusiasm you had to serve the Lord is no more. As you see Christ delaying to come, is your mind uh, taking you back to Egypt where you are wishing of the good old days? Hmm. Another thing you need to understand is that the people speak uh, against God and against Moses. If you read Numbers 21 verses 5, the people spoke uh, against God and against Moses. <laughs> Your character changes from Christ-like to worldly. Are you talking or behaving or doing as the world does? There is no difference between you and the world. Hmm. So let's see another thing. Due to complaining and murmuring, the Lord sent various serpents among the people, and they beat the people, and much people of Israel died. If you read Numbers 21 verses 6, there are a lot of fairy serpents today that are destroying people's life. Families are breaking up. A relationship going down the drain. Is there really hope for the uh, perverse generation? Another thing you need to understand is that forgiveness is the only solution to overcome these strategies, tragedies. Mm -hmm. The people came to Moses and repented repentant uh, for sinning before God and unto him. They asked him to pray on their behalf that the Lord may remove the serpents. Moses prayed and the Lord told him to make a fairy serpent and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that every everyone that is beaten when he looketh upon it shall live. If you read Numbers 21 verses 7 to 8, mm -hmm. you must acknowledge you are a sinner. Romans 3 23. You must confess Christ as Lord and Savior. If you read First John chapter 1 verses 9, Romans 10 verses 9 to 10. Daniel lifted his eyes to him who will save him. If you read Psalms 121. Uh, sorry, David lifted his eyes to him who will save him. David, uh -huh. Psalms 121 verses 1 to 2. Another thing we need to conclude is, and Moses followed 
the instruction of the Lord by building a serpent of brass and put it upon a pole. And it came to pass that if a serpent had beaten any man when he beheld the serpent of brass, he lived and he lived. Uh -huh. Numbers, if you read Numbers 21 verses 8 to 9. We are living at a time we are beaten by different serpents that are causing our downfall. Marriages are beaten by the serpent of divorce. Was. The good news is that as Moses lifted up the bronze snake in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life. If we read the book of John 3, 14 verses, verses 14 to 15. Accept this solution today and turn your life around from death to life, from a victim to a victor, from a defeat, from defeat to a conqueror. In Christ Jesus, hallelujah. If you read Romans 8 verses 3 to 39. All things work together for good to them that love God, to them called according to his purpose. If you read uh, Romans 8 verses 28. So, my brother, my sister,